Hello everyone, my name is GuysBT24 and welcome to another video. Now today, uh, we are actually going to be revisiting an old game that I've played in the past. Uh, it's Five Nights at Kings, but this is actually the remastered edition. This is the remastered version. Uh, I believe it's the same person, I can't remember exactly. Anyway, let's get right into this. See what's been remastered. Uh, in his burger, burger and fries. Family, Fred, family restaurant looking for a security guard to on the night shift. 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monitor camera, entire facility, and different and characters. First night. I hope it actually captures this entire screen because I have it minimized. Holy. You have. Whoa. One. New message. Hi, hello. <laughs> I'm the junior manager here at the restaurant. The subtitles are really want to prove the job as our new security guard. From your resume, I can tell that you're already a well-experienced guard. But, you know, it's protocol, so I have to walk through the basics anyway. So, let's get started. We have security cameras all around the restaurant. And if you bring up the camera panel, you'll be able to view the feed from each camera by pressing the camera buttons on the minimap. Now, our lights are always off during the night. Obviously, because it'd be a waste of power to leave them on all night. So to actually see something on the cameras, you can activate the camera system's night vision mode. You activate night vision by clicking on the button of whatever camera you're currently viewing. So for example, so say you want to see what's on camera 1. You bring up the camera panel, click on the button that says cam 01, and then to use night vision, you click on cam 01 again. Once night vision is activated, you can click on any of the other cameras and view them with night vision as well and you turn it off the same way you turn it on. Now, night vision takes more power than regular vision, so make sure you use it sparingly. Your first priority as a security guard here is to keep an eye on the electronics. Those are really expensive machines, and we do not want them stolen. And you keep an eye on them through the cameras. We have quite a few animatronics here at Candy's. There's of course the cats Candy and Cindy, the chest of the chimpanzee, there's the penguins, just lots to tell you. Uh, so, you also have three security doors in the office, each of which can be closed by pressing the door button by each door. These are here in case you're in some sort of danger, but personally I just use them to shut myself off from the world when I need a break. But don't let me be a role model on that one. You need to remember that closing these Funny. doors takes power, and the longer they're closed, the more power they drain. Now, Noted. I know and that I'm sounds kinda backwards, but you have to trust me on that one. I think it's something about the doors having an automatic fail-safe feature in case the power gets cut off. You know, that they open up if there's no more power. All I know for sure is that they do use more and more power the longer they're closed. So you don't want to keep them closed for too long at a time. Now, uh, the reason I keep mentioning the power is because the restaurant uses a backup power generator at night, which only has a certain amount of juice in it. So anything from viewing the cameras to using the security doors takes power. You can see how much power you have left on the computer on the desk in front of you. Try not to run out of power. If you do though, you won't be stuck in the office since the doors will always open up anyway. <laughs> oh, and uh, one last thing. The animatronics aren't completely turned off at night, so they might start walking around a bit. But just be careful not to let any of them into the office, because we have stuff in there we don't want to or anything. Though, don't bother with the ticket booth, they won't attempt to get in through there. That should be all. You'll hear from me again on your next shift. Have a good night. Yeah, this is like the original game. Honestly, it feels good to play this original game because I haven't played this in a long time and I made it to like... I think I made it to like night 3 or night 4, I believe, and I remember how to play this. Oh. Oh. That's really cool how the, the eyes light up. I wish I get my ball... my... oh. I should be skipped the crap out of. I can't remember if Candy is the one that goes on the left or on the right. Uh. So I'm trying to analyze the cameras. Oh! She's gone. Okay, there she, there she is. It's wicked place.
Aha. It's completely weird playing it like in the real format. Like, I'm not even joking, this is like really, really weird playing it like this. Because usually you just look left and right, you don't have to look this far left or this far right. Oh, you jumped to there, huh? You can get me too. Cause I'm a master at this game. Well, not like Markiplier mastery, but like, a good decent amount of mastery. Oh, you went back over there, huh? Think I don't even need the night vision, or... That little touch that they had, like the power on the side of the door. Sounds bad. Yeah, that is just me. Yay! I beat the night. Yay! Of course, I'm I'm really good at it because I played it until like the fourth night, I believe. What like new edition is in this part now? Oh, Vinny. play it again in the future but if you guys enjoyed this little uh you know throwback tuesday or whatever you want to call it uh be sure to like comment on this, on this video and make sure to hit those notifications to be sure to be notified um when my videos will be coming out and also if you haven't seen it yet make sure to check out the last video where i actually uploaded a compilation of my latest uh tiktok videos uh it's gonna be right on my channel of course that'll be it for now see you all in the next one Bye.